Hello and welcome to Jobs and Education. Do subscribe, like and share my videos. This is your Mahesh Dole. In this video, I came with an important subject from mechanical engineering that is heat transfer. Heat transfer means it is a discipline of thermal engineering that concerns the generation, use, conversion and exchange of thermal energy between physical systems. And also, heat transfer is classified into various mechanisms such as thermal conduction, thermal convection, thermal radiation and transfer of energy by phase changes. So this is regarding heat transfer. So in this video, I covered very important 50 bits or 50 MCQs of heat transfer which is very important for the Naivelli Lignite Corporation GET exam 2020. Let's get started with the first question. What is the unit of thermal conductivity in SI units? This is very important. What is the unit for thermal conductivity? So out of given options, the answer is we can go for B and C. Joule per meter degree Kelvin second or watt per meter degree Kelvin. So B and C both are correct for units of thermal conductivity in SI units. Moving on to the second question, heat transfer takes place as per which of the given law? Heat transfer takes place as per second law of thermodynamics. C is the correct answer. Second law of thermodynamics having two statements like Kelvin-Planck statement as well as Clausius statements. So heat transfer takes place as per the second law of thermodynamics. Third question reads, when heat is transferred from Heat is transferred from hot body to cold body in a straight line without affecting the intervening medium. It is referred to as heat transfer by. So this kind of heat transfer is called as radiation. It is not going to disturb whatever the middle or medium intervening thing is there. So that is not disturbed when the radiation is there. Fourth question reads, when heat is transferred by molecular collision, it is referred to as heat transfer by. So it is referred to as heat transfer by convection. B is the correct answer. Heat transferred by molecular collision that is convection. Fifth question reads heat is closely related with. Heat is closely related with temperature not liquids, energy, entropy or enthalpy. So don't get confused. Heat is nothing but it is related to the temperature because of temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness. Sixth question reads, metals are good conductors of heat because, metals are good conductors of heat because their atoms collide frequently. So that's why metals are very good conductors. Seventh question reads, cork is a good insulator because it has. Seventh question reads, cork is a good insulator because it has porous body. Eighth question, which of the following is a case of steady state heat transfer? Which of the following is a case of steady state heat transfer? So that is, so whatever the options given, they are not correct. So none of the above is the correct answer. Ninth question reads, temperature of steam at around 540 degrees Celsius can be measured by. So 540 degrees Celsius can be measured by thermocouple. Tenth question reads, the time constant of a thermocouple is, the time constant of a thermocouple is that is the time taken to attain 63.2 percentage of value of initial temperature difference c is the correct answer 11th question which of the following has least value of conductivity so least value of conductivity conductivity is there for air so out of this glass water plastic and rubber air having least th con thermal conductivity 12th question, heat is transferred by all three modes of conduction, convection and radiation in which of the following? That is in boiler. In boiler, conduction, convection, radiation. Three things will be there as when we consider heat transfer. 13th question, heat, radiation, heat transfer by radiation mainly depends on. So the heat transfer by radiation mainly depends on its temperature, nature of the body and kind and extent of its surface. 
so all are correct here 14th question thermal diffusivity of a substance is thermal diffusivity of a substance means it is proportional of thermal conductivity k a is the correct answer 15th question in the heat flow equation q equals to k into a t1 minus t2 by x the term t1 minus t2 by x is known as what so the term is nothing but temperature gradient t1 minus t2 by x is temperature gradient 16th question reads the rate of energy emission from unit surface area through unit solid angle along a normal to the surface is known as this is very important intensity of radiation d is the correct answer the rate of energy emission from unit surface area through unit solid angle along a normal to the surface that is intensity of radiation 17th question reads emissivity of a white polished body in comparison to a black body is so emissivity of a white polished body in comparison to black body is lower so this is 17th question b is the correct answer 18th question gross hof number is expressed by gross hof number is very important it is expressed by so e is the correct answer initial inertia force into buoyant force by viscous force so e is the correct option inertia force product of buoyant force divided by viscous force 19th question in heat exchangers degree of approach is defined as the difference between temperatures of so in heat exchangers degree of approach is defined as the difference between temperatures of hot medium outlet and cold water outlet so both hot medium and cold water outlets temperatures 20th question a steam pipe is to be insulated by two insulating materials put over each other for best results so that is better insulation should be put over pipe and better one over it a is the correct answer 21st question nozzle to number is expressed by nozzle to number is expressed by coefficient of heat transfer into inside diameter divided by thermal conductivity so d is the correct answer 22nd question the heat transfer equation q equals to sigma a t power 4 is known as sigma a t power 4 is known as whatever the options given that is wrong not four years equation laplace for poisons so those are wrong 23rd question joule second is the unit of joule second is the unit of planck's constant d is the correct answer 24th question Prandtl number is expressed by Prandtl number so c is the correct answer specific heat into viscosity by thermal conductivity or molecular diffusivity of momentum by thermal diffusivity so c is the correct answer for Prandtl number 25th question according to stephen boljman law ideal radiators emit radiant energy at a rate proportional to so stephen boljman law that is fourth power of absolute temperature t power 4 c is the correct answer 26th question the unit of stephen boljman constant is unit of stephen boljman constant is watt per centimeter square degree kelvin per 4 so watt per centimeter square degree kelvin 4 d is the correct answer stephen boljman law is applicable for heat transfer by so 27th question its answer is radiation c is the correct correct answer stephen boljman law is applicable for heat transfer by radiation 28th question thermal diffusivity of a substance is thermal diffusivity of a substance is directly proportional to thermal conductivity inversely proportional to the density of substance inversely proportional to specific heat so d is the correct answer so given three options are correct 29th question reads the ratio of the emissive power and absorptive power of all bodies is the same and is equal to the emissive power of a perfectly black body this statement is known as so this statement is known as kirchhoff's law kirchhoff's law is very very important the ratio of emissive power and absorptive power of all bodies is same and is equal to the emissive power of a perfectly black body kirchhoff's law a is the correct answer 30th question at thermal equilibrium what we can 
observe. At thermal equilibrium, observativity is equal to emissivity. So C is the correct answer. Observativity is equal to emissivity. We know thermal equilibrium. Equilibrium means there is no change or there is no vary of properties. 31st question, the ratio of emissive power of a body to the emissive power of a perfectly black body is called. Ratio of emissive power of a body to the perfectly black body emissive power. That is emissivity. B is the correct answer. 32nd question, the wavelength of the radiation emitted. The wavelength of radiation emitted, so both A and C are correct, depends on temperature only and does not depend on material of the body. So it depends on temperature only. It does not depend on material of the body. Thirty-third question: The total emissivity of power. The total emissivity power is defined as the total amount of radiation emitted by a black body per unit. So that is time, unit time. The total amount of radiation emitted by a black body per unit time. That is total emissivity power. Thirty-fourth question reads: The ratio of the energy absorbed by the body to total energy falling on it is called. The ratio of energy absorbed by the body to the total energy falling on it is called absorptive power. 35th question reads, the amount of radiation mainly depends on, the amount of radiation mainly depends on nature of the body, temperature of the body, type of surface of body. So that's why the surface, black body, if the black body is there, more radiation will come. 36th question, the emissive power of a body depends upon, so the emissive power of a body depends upon its Temperature, wavelength and physical nature. 37th question, absorptivity of a body will be equal to its emissivity. Absorptivity of a body will be equal to its emissivity when system is under thermal equilibrium. 38th question, a perfect black body is one in which? A perfect black body is one in which? It absorbs heat radiations of all wavelengths falling on it. Perfect black body is which observes heat radiations of all wavelengths falling on it. D is the correct answer. 39th question, Planck's law holds good for. Planck's law is holding very good for black bodies. 40th question, thermal radiation extends over the range of, the range of 0 0.1 to 100 microns. So 0 0.1 to 100 mu, B is the correct answer. 41 or 41st question effectiveness of heat exchanger is defined as effectiveness of heat exchanger is defined as so whatever A and B given so greater than that A and B C is the correct answer 42nd question unit of thermal conductivity in MKS units so that is kilocalories meter per hour meter square degree Celsius so B is the correct answer unit of thermal conductivity in MKS systems Next, thermal conductivity of solid metals with rise in temperature normally. 43rd question, thermal conductivity of solid metals with rise in temperature normally. So generally it is decreases. 44th question, sensible heat is the heat required to. Sensible heat means it is the heat required to increase the temperature of a liquid or vapor. So that is C. 45th question, which of the following is a case of steady state heat transfer? So whatever the option given here, that is not there. So none of the above. E is the correct answer. 46th question. Thermal conductivity of air at room temperature in kilocalorie per meter hour degree Celsius is of the order of thermal conductivity of air at room temperature. That is 0 0.02. 47th question. Which of the following is expected to have highest thermal conductivity? So that is solid ice. Solid ice is having more thermal conductivity than others. Whatever given options. 48th question, which of the following has maximum value of thermal conductivity? So that is aluminium. When we compare the steel, brass, copper and lead. So aluminium having maximum thermal conductivity. 49th question, moisture would find its way into insulation by vapor pressure unless it is prevented by so unless it is prevented by a vapor seal. Otherwise, moisture would find its way into insulation. So vapor seal should be required. D is the correct answer. 50th question, according to previous to theory of heat exchange. Previous to theory of heat exchange, C is the correct answer. All bodies above absolute zero emit radiation. Above absolute zero means minus 273 degrees Celsius. Above that zero, absolute zero point, 
so all bodies emits radiation so that is previous theory of heat exchange these are the 50 important questions for the coming up nlc il graduate executive trainee exam on 17th of this november so all the best for this nlcil get 2020